There is a joke among experimental musicians that the audience for microtonal music is as large as the amount of players of that music. Going beyond equal temperament, tunings that listeners are used to can be perceived as grating to the ear, weird and off. But of course, you and me are here for the weird. Soma sent me that Terra a while back for feedback. This is serial number two, if I'm not mistaken. Terra is a digital synthesizer in a shape that seems archaic, like a deco punk harp straight from Bioshock. interface that takes the touch keyboard experiments of Don Buchler further, making them more responsive. It uses specially coded sensors to translate touch into control. It feels best in your lap. I found playing it on the table creates a disconnect to the instrument, especially because the built-in gyroscope is so much more playable when balanced with legs. a digital synthesizer with a bunch of different sound engines. The sonic possibilities for each are reduced to fit the interface. Four live modulation sensors, a few dials and a very obscure pyramid are all you get to shape the sound. But since the modulation is your touch, it feels like each patch is rich in expression.
Each engine can be set to half speed, halving the sample rate and making it sound more muffled, aliased and low. Pitching the notes then up again adds some barps to the digital clarity. engines and the unique shape and control are only a part of what makes Terra so unique. Each preset you make not only saves the sound, but also the tuning. Every note is freely assignable, both in half notes and in cents. On the simplest level, this allows you to tune perfectly to any key, like a violin player, without the compromises of equal piano tuning. Or you can create clusters around a pitch core with beating notes adding to the timbre. Or you can explore alternative tunings, like the one pioneered by Harry Parch, which is included as a preset. Or you can find the key of you, a scale that resonates with your sense of pitch and the sound associated with it. For me, that is often mixtures, two or three clean notes on bass, a cluster of note in the mid-range, a high melody that goes slightly flat as it goes up to feel more melancholic. I don't follow any particular system here, I just do what sounds good to me. It is microtonal playfulness, something I've done for years on my Seat Lombard instruments. done these finely tuned compositions of pieces, but when I tried to save them with the tools that I had at the time, they always went flat or sharp. This for the Terra is so much easier. Because Terra has modes for polyphonic, bass and solo instruments, you can then create patches that keep the tuning for these different sounds and play them together in harmony.
built-in transposition buttons, strangely called pitch shifters here, help in crafting harmonic relationships. As you can see and hear, it is a player's instrument and as such rewards practice. There is a MIDI out, but no MIDI in, so if you messed up, repeat. I enjoy that. It is rewarding to nail a piece you have in mind, even as your fingers go tired. But you better keep notes. It can be frustrating to remember where you saved something, since there is no screen or companion app. I get very paranoid about accidentally saving over a patch, and rightly so, as it happened twice already since I got the terror. If you are looking for a certain sound engine, you better remember what combination of lights on the pyramid conjures which one. Else keep the manual, which is very well written, luckily, close at hand. The delay and reverb effects that are integrated are good, but since they only have one parameter to change them, they get a bit plain after a while. You will want to use external effects in a performance, since there is no trails feature. If you switch, the echo or reverb will stop. So you can't do smooth transitions while sounds or effects are still ringing out. I used my granular processor and synthesizer Fluss I made with the Brambos in many parts of this video. Terra has a learning curve, or rather, a time of adjustment. It is not just another synthesizer you can fit into your setup easily. But if you give it time, it will grow on you like very few other instruments. It just feels very nice to play. I am sure we will see jaw-dropping performances with the Terra, maybe even from non-synth people. It is an instrument you can give to a harpist or a saxophone player and they will appreciate the level of articulation that is possible. If you are my Patreon, you can get the presets I made for Terra there, as well as music from this video. Thank you Vlad and the whole Soma crew for trusting me with the Terra. It's been a pleasure to explore. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments below or visit my subreddit. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.